AITA for losing my cool after therapy didn't work out as expected? I'm Ollie, 28M, and my girlfriend Emma, 27F, and I have been together for 6 years. For most of that time, things have been pretty great, like, we had the kind of relationship that just click. We rarely had arguments, and we genuinely enjoyed spending time together. But this past year, something felt different. Small disagreements popped up, communication wasn't as smooth, and it just seemed like we weren't as in sync as we used to be. It wasn't anything huge, more like the usual relationship ups and downs, but Emma seemed more bothered by it than I was. She'd mentioned things I hadn't even noticed, like how I wasn't as attentive or emotionally present. I admit work had kept me busy, but I thought we were doing okay. Still, I didn't want to dismiss her concerns. Around six months ago, Emma suggested we try couples therapy. Now, I've always been a bit unsure about therapy unless things are really bad, but I agreed, figuring it couldn't hurt. Emma was excited because she found someone named Lily, who was recommended by a friend. So, we booked our first session. At first, the therapy sessions seemed alright. Lily asked good questions, encouraged us to talk more, and gave us some tips to improve communication. I was really trying my best, but something felt off. Every time we discussed a problem, it felt like Lily was leaning towards Emma's side. When I mentioned being stressed from work, the conversation would quickly shift to how I wasn't giving Emma enough attention. It didn't matter what I brought up, the focus always turned to my supposed communication issues. As the weeks went by, Emma started saying things like, Lily thinks you should work on this, or Lily believes you need to improve that. It felt like everything I did was being dissected and judged by someone I barely knew. I didn't want to be paranoid, but it felt like Lily was painting me as the main problem in the relationship, and Emma was going along with it. Whenever I tried to express how I felt, it seemed like my concerns were pushed aside. I kept going to therapy, hoping things would improve, but they didn't. Every session felt the same, like Lily was putting doubts in Emma's head, and Emma was starting to believe I was the issue. I even began questioning myself, was I really that bad of a partner? Then, a few weeks ago, things hit a breaking point. During one session, Lily suggested that maybe Emma and I should take a break so I could focus on improving myself. That felt like a punch in the gut. I had been trying so hard, and now she was suggesting we break up? I looked to Emma, expecting her to disagree, but she just nodded quietly. After that session, I couldn't hold it in any longer. When we got home, I exploded at Emma. I told her I didn't trust Lily and felt like she was putting all the blame on me. Emma got defensive and said I was overreacting, that Lily was just trying to help us work through our problems. We didn't talk for a few days, and I started feeling guilty for losing my temper. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe therapy was uncovering things I needed to work on. But then something happened that changed everything. Last week, we went to a party thrown by a mutual friend. I overheard Emma and her friend Sarah chatting and laughing in a corner. I caught part of their conversation. I can't believe you've kept it up this long. He still thinks she's a real therapist. My stomach dropped. I confronted them immediately, and Emma's face turned pale. Sarah tried to play it off, but the truth came out. It turns out that Lily wasn't a licensed therapist at all. She was one of Emma's friends from college, and the whole therapy thing was a plan to help me become a better partner without me realizing it. Emma thought I wouldn't agree to real therapy, so she and Lily cooked up this scheme. They figured Lily could guide me into being a better boyfriend. I felt completely betrayed. For months, I had opened up in sessions to someone pretending to be a therapist, and Emma had been in on it the whole time. No wonder I felt attacked and manipulated, because I was being manipulated. When I confronted Emma, she broke down, saying she never meant to hurt me and just wanted to help us grow. But honestly, I don't know if I can get past this. It feels like our relationship was built on a lie. Now Emma and her friends are saying I overreacted, that it was just a small lie meant to improve our relationship. But I feel like I've been deceived and misled for months. So, AITA for losing my cool when I found out our therapist wasn't actually legit?